Excel can convert your data into charts as you require. The data should contain the information that you wish to portray in your chart. You could also define and select the exact data that you wish to display as a chart. After you make your required selection of a cell or a range of cells, click on the chart wizard icon present on the standard toolbar. As shown, the first page of the chart wizard dialog box will be displayed. Select the type of chart you wish to create from the chart type section. From the chart subtype section, you can choose the exact format that you require for the selected chart type. Use the press and hold to view sample button within the dialog box to see what the selected chart will look like. Now, click on the next button to see the next page of the chart wizard dialog box called chart source data. The data range tab allows you to specify the exact data that you wish to display within your chart. You can choose to display between series in rows or columns. This is how your graph will be displayed if you choose series in rows. And this is how it will be displayed if you opt for series in columns. Click on the next button to proceed. Here is the third page of the chart wizard dialog box. This page allows you to define the options that you wish to include or customize including titles, axis, grid lines, legend, data labels, data table. To add a title to a chart, enter an appropriate name in the chart title box. Enter a title for the x-axis in the category x-axis text box. Enter a title for the y-axis in the category y-axis text box. Click on the axis tab to customize the chart axis. This page allows you to control the way the axes are displayed. If you require more information, click on this question mark. Then select the option that you require more help on. To customize chart grid lines, click on this tab. Select the options as required. You can choose to display or modify a chart legend and control where it is displayed by clicking on the legend tab. Select the options as required. You can also choose to display or modify chart data labels by clicking on the data labels tab. Select the options as desired. Selecting the none option will result in this chart display. Selecting the show value option will result in this chart display. Selecting the show label option will result in this chart display. To display or modify chart data labels, click on the data table tab. Select the options as desired. Selecting the show data table checkbox will result in this display. Click on the next button to proceed to step 4 of the chart wizard dialog box. This is the final stage of the wizard. Here you can define the chart location. You can choose to place the chart on an existing worksheet as an object by selecting this radio button. Or you can place it on a new worksheet by selecting this radio button. Click on finish. Your chart will be created as you have specified during the chart wizard creation process. After you have created a chart, data can be easily added to it or selectively removed from it. You can use the normal drag and drop techniques or use the Windows clipboard. To add data to a chart, select and highlight the data from your worksheet that you wish to add. If the data highlighted is on the same worksheet as that of the existing chart, drag and drop the data onto the existing chart. If the chart is located on a worksheet other than your worksheet containing the data to be added, select copy from the edit menu or press Ctrl plus C after highlighting your data. Now, switch to the worksheet containing the chart. 
Now click the edit menu and choose paste or press Ctrl and V. To remove data from a chart, click on the data series you wish to delete. Press the delete key and the selected series will be removed from the chart. Deleting the series from the chart will not disturb the data on the worksheet. You can modify a chart using the scaling technique. For instance, you could use the drag and drop technique within a chart to make a column taller or shorter. This change will be reflected in the original data used to create a chart. This is a very convenient way of fiddling the figures if you want a particular shape to your graph and to generate data to fit the graph. To modify a chart using the scaling technique, first click on the chart and then click on the data point you wish to change. If a single data point is selected, black selection handles are displayed along the borders of the area. Now, drag the data point up or down. The worksheet data will be updated to reflect the changes. If the value of the marker that you wish to change is a formula, the Goal Seek dialog box is displayed. The cell references which contain the formula for the data point are shown in the Set Cell text box. The value to which you drag the data point is shown in the Two Value text box. This value can be changed. Click on the By Changing Cell text box and type in the cell reference. Or click on the cell whose value should change for the data point to reach the specified value. This cell has to be the cell on which the formula depends. To display the Goal Seek Status dialog box, click OK. Click OK to apply changes. The result is now displayed in the worksheet. To format the chart area, first click on the chart and select it. Move the mouse pointer to the edge of the selected chart or to an empty part of the chart till you see a small rectangular box pop up displaying the words Chart Area. Double click on Selected Chart. The Format Chart Area dialog box is displayed. Select from the Patterns, Font and Properties tab. Let us view the Patterns tab first. Select and click on this tab. This is the border section. The automatic option will use the default settings. The option will mean that no formatting is applied. To create your own custom border, select the required style from the style drop-down list. Click on the color drop-down list and select a color for your border. Choose as required from the weight drop-down list. Select this checkbox if you wish to add a shadowed effect. Clicking on this checkbox will display rounded rather than square edges. This is the area section of the format chart area. Selecting this radio button will use default settings for your chart area. Selecting this radio button will mean that no formatting is applied. From the color palette, select the color required. Click on this button to use fill effects to format a chart area. A further dialog box will open. This is the gradient tab. Here you can fill using one or two colors or use from predefined presets. You could opt for any one of these shading styles also. Click on the texture tab to choose from predefined texture effects. The Pattern tab allows you to use a predefined pattern effect. Here, you can select both foreground and background colors. The Picture tab allows you to use a picture as the background. Using pictures with large file sizes will slow down your system. Click on this button to open the Select Picture dialog box. Locate a picture file on your disk. Click Insert to insert selected picture. Click on OK to confirm selection. Back in the Format Chart Area dialog box, click on this 
to specify font formatting for the chart areas. Click on the Properties tab to specify object positioning, printing and locking information. To format a chart legend, first select the chart. Move the mouse pointer to the legend and when you see a small pop-up box displaying the word legend, double click. The Format Legend dialog box is displayed. Similar to the chart area formatting, click on the Patterns tab to specify patterns. The Font tab will allow you to specify and format the fonts. The Placement tab allows you to specify the position of the legend. Click OK to close this dialog box. To format a chart axis, first click on the chart to select it and then move the mouse pointer over to the axis that you require to format. When you see a small pop-up box displaying information about the axis, double click. The Format Axis dialog box is now open. These are the five tabs displayed within this box. The Patterns tab allows you to specify patterns. Now click on the Scale tab. This tab allows you to specify how the scale is formatted. For instance, you can specify a maximum or minimum value for the axis you are formatting. The Font tab allows you to specify and format fonts. The Number tab allows you to specify the number format that you wish to use with the axis. The Alignment tab allows you to rotate the text used within the axis. Click OK to close this dialog box. To format the plot area, click on the chart to select it. The plot area is the background within the chart, that is, the empty area of the actual graph. Move the mouse pointer to the plot area, and when you see a small pop-up box displaying the word plot area, double-click on it. The Format Plot Area dialog box will now open. Here, you can customize the border and area as required by choosing the options. The formatting manner is similar to that of formatting the chart area. To format chart grid lines, click the chart to select it. Move the mouse pointer to one of the grid lines within the chart. And when you see a small pop-up box displaying information about the grid line, double-click on it. This is the Format Grid Lines dialog box. These are the two tabs displayed within the dialog box. The Patterns tab allows you to specify patterns. This tab allows you to specify how the scale is formatted. To format data series, click on the chart to select it. Move the mouse pointer over your data as shown here. When you see a small pop-up box displaying information about the bar you are pointing at, double-click. The Format Data Series dialog box is displayed. The Patterns tab allows you to specify the patterns you can apply for your data series. In the Axis tab, you can specify whether the series is to be plotted on the primary or secondary axis. This is the effect of plotting the data on the primary axis. And clicking on the secondary axis radio button will result in this effect. Clicking on the Y error bars tab allows you to display error bars and format the error bar display. This tab allows you to format data series, data labels. Select the show value radio button. The resulting graph looks like this. Select the Show Label Radio button. The resulting graph looks like this. Click on this tab to format the data series order. This page allows you to control the order in which the data series is displayed. You can change the order with the help of Move Up or Move Down buttons. In the Options tab, you can control the overlap between the data displayed or the degree of overlap. Inside Excel, you can use the drawing buttons to add drawing objects in your worksheet. These drawing buttons allow you to create ovals, 
rectangles, freehand lines, and polygons. To display the drawing toolbar, click on this drawing icon located within the standard toolbar. Alternatively, you could right click over any visible toolbar. Then, from the ensuing pop up list, select Drawing. This is the drawing toolbar. To draw lines, boxes, ovals and arcs, you must click on the icon you require. For example, click on the oval icon to draw an oval. First, move to the position on the worksheet where you wish to draw the object. Depress the left mouse button and drag the mouse to create the object you require. Release the mouse button when the object is the desired length and shape. To move an object around a page, click on the object first and hold down the mouse key. Drag the object to a new location and release the mouse button. To create a copy of an object, press the control key first. Keeping the key depressed, click on the object and hold down the mouse key. Now, drag the mouse and copy of it will move along with it. Release the mouse button at a required position and a copy will be created. Now, release the control key. You can also insert auto shape objects into your worksheet. From the drawing toolbar, click on the auto shapes button. A pop up menu will be displayed. Select the category of auto shape that you are interested in. When the subcategory is displayed, click on the actual auto shape you require. First, position your mouse on the worksheet where you wish to insert the auto shape. Depress the left mouse button and drag the mouse till the auto shape is the required size. Release the mouse button and the auto shape will appear. To format auto shape objects, double click on the auto shape that you wish to format. This will display the format auto shape dialog box containing these five tabs. Colors and Lines, Size, Protection, Properties, Web. You can select the required options from these and click OK to close the dialog box. Instead of entering text only in the worksheet cells, you can also create your own custom text boxes. To create a text box, Click on the text box icon located on the drawing toolbar. Position the mouse pointer at the location wherein you wish to insert a text box. Depress the left mouse button and drag over the worksheet to create a text box. Release the mouse when the text box is of the required shape and size. In your newly created text box, enter text that you require. To insert text anytime again in a text box, click on the text box to select it and insert your text. To edit text in a text box, place the insertion point within the text box by clicking once. Select the text that you wish to edit. You can use any editing or formatting features that you wish to apply to your text. Click outside the text box. To delete a text box, Click on the text box. Now press the delete key and the text box will be deleted. In Excel, you can insert pictures in your worksheet. To insert clip art, click on the insert clip art icon located in the drawing toolbar. A gallery of clip art will be displayed. You can select the group that matches your requirement, such as academic or animals, etc. Then click on the picture that you would like to insert and a pop-up menu will be displayed. Click on this icon and your picture will be inserted. When you insert a picture into an Excel worksheet, the picture toolbar will automatically be displayed. You can also use the Excel online help for further information about using this toolbar. To move a picture, click on the picture first to select it. Drag the picture to a new location. To resize a picture, again select the picture by clicking on it. Click on one of the black selection handles that appear. Drag the arrow to resize the picture as required. 
To delete a picture, select the picture by clicking on it. Now, press the delete key. You can also control how the pictures are layered on top of each other. You may want a picture to slightly overlap another if you have inserted a number of pictures in your worksheet. To control which picture lies on top and which goes beneath, click on a picture to select it. Right click to display a pop-up menu. From the pop-up menu, click on the order command. Now, from the sub-menu, choose any of these options as required. A number of objects can be grouped together so that they are treated as a single object. Click on the first object that you wish to include in your group. Now, press the Shift key and select the other objects that you require. Right-click over the selected objects to display this pop-up menu. Select the Grouping command. From the sub-menu, select Group. The selected objects will now be treated as single objects. At times, you may need to ungroup the objects that have been grouped as a single object. To ungroup, Click on the grouped object to select it first. Right click to display a pop-up menu. Select the grouping command from this menu. From the sub-menu, select ungroup. Now, the separate objects that have been grouped together can once again be treated as separate objects.